this power in baptism. Baptism is the outward sign of what you believe in your heart. Baptism from the Word of God is not very complicated because the Word of God gives us a lot of examples. When we look at Scripture, there are different kinds of baptism. There's baptism with water, there's baptism with the fire, the Holy Spirit, and there's baptism with blood. When Israel was in Egypt, for them to have moved out of the bondage, they had to put the blood on the doorposts, and as they placed it on the doorpost, the angel of death passed by them. The second thing, as Israel moved out of Egypt, they had to go through the waters. And what happened? God opened up the waters, they moved through. And as the Egyptians, the old nature, the sinful nature, the enemy pursued them, the water closed up and they died. Can you see the order? First blood, then water, then Holy Spirit. And that's the meaning of the baptism. It brings separation between you and your old man. As soon as you believe what Jesus Christ has done, you can get baptized. Baptism means when you go in under the water, you are getting buried. And as you are picked up out of the water, you are being raised up with Christ. So your sin gets dealt with when you believe that you have been crucified with Christ. You believe that Christ died for your sins, but not only that, you also have been crucified with Him. And the old man gets buried. If you've not been baptized, it is time to make that decision. If you've not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it's time to believe that Jesus Christ died for you and He was made alive. When you confess it with your mouth and you believe it with all your heart, salvation belongs to you.